So you bought a rusty old engine, you barred it over, you made sure it turns, and now you have to de-rust it before sending it to the machine shop. You don't want to pay someone to do it. You want to do it at home? We'll show you how. Hey guys, so we just figured uh, we'd give you a little glimpse into what we're doing at the shop right now. Uh, right now we're working on our friend Marco's car, and you might recognize this car from his Instagram page, at Mini DeMarco. Uh, he has a 998 that's all built up, and it's blown the head gasket now three times. I think that the deck is warped slightly. Uh, let's take a look and I'll show you what we're working with here. So it's a pretty nice engine albeit not currently running very well right now. So he's had this engine for quite a while and I think he wants to do something a little bit exciting. So what we have done is we went and picked up an old 1275. Uh, we went to the island, picked it up, and then discovered it's actually from a Austin America, not from a Mini. Uh, but it has some cool trick parts. It's got a Cooper S uh, valve train, it has got a duplex timing chain, uh, and it's clearly had maybe a little bit of head work or whatnot done. So it was for a good deal. However, it did look like it was sitting on the bottom of the ocean. It was pretty rusty, a lot of kind of crud on it and whatnot. So. Uh, we fully disassembled it, took it all apart. The internals look really good. It was just the outside that looked uh, terrible. So what we've done is we have a vat outside the shop here, uh, just mixed with uh, CLR, which is you'd get from a uh, normal you know, Home Depot or whatnot, and water. And we've had the engine disassembled and sitting in there for about three or four days now. Uh, and today's the day I'm gonna pull it out and start cleaning everything off and seeing how well our concoction worked. Uh, so I'm going to do that now. So we just got a Rubbermaid tote here, and you can see, I think we filled it with about a liter and a half of CLR, it's like the big jug, and then filled the rest up with water. And we've had a really good success using this uh, before as a de-rusting agent. It's nice because it's uh, fine for the environment, uh, it doesn't have an acid or anything that will hurt you while you're trying to work with it, and it works pretty well. So right here we've got the cylinder head, the block, and the uh, transfer gear case, as well as the clutch case, the walk. Um, these all looked pretty gross before, so we'll see how well it cleans up. So I'm just gonna pull them all out, I'll put them on the cardboard, and then we'll just start scrubbing it off with some uh, brushes we got from the dollar store. First, when you pull it out, it doesn't look um, like it's done a ton, uh, but then you realize that stuff like this, this rust, is actually, even just with my finger, if I rub that, it's starting to come off just with nothing more. Look at that. Nothing more than my finger, and you can see it's pure steel in there. This one here. So with a wire brush. This. Yeah. So this stuff really works very well. Um, it takes a little bit more time than some of the more uh, abrasive chemicals, but if you've got the time, it's cheap, easy, and uh, not dangerous to use, so you can see like that area. Freeze plugs will be coming out anyways. Just, huh. Not even scrubbing very hard at all. Barely. Just using two fingers. So that just flakes. Pure steel. I ah, just got a series of these little uh, metal bristled scrubber brushes. We just get them from the dollar stores as they're kind of um, disposable that way. 
Uh, maybe also worth saying that when before we put the engine uh, into the vat of CLR and water, uh, we degreased it with just uh, the Gunk brand degreaser. Just to uh, the CLR isn't really a degreaser; it's more just a deruster. So that way the um, the components were as grease free as possible before they went in. The CLR works uh, on aluminum uh, corrosion as well. It had kind of this white kind of crust that uh, aluminum oxidizes with. It kind of looks like this, um, but as you can see it wipes right off. As you can see, I'm using the patented twin brush technique. So that's pretty much it for the first stage of de-rusting. Uh, this is a really cool thing that you can do at home. Uh, it doesn't cost very much, and it's a really good alternative to sending it out and getting it done professionally. Uh, the results uh, are very similar. They tend to take a little bit longer, uh, but, uh, but it works out great. And uh, so what we're probably gonna do is throw this back in the bin, uh, let it sit there for a couple more days, and then pull it out and do a final cleaning before sending it off to the machine shop. Uh, you can tell that already just because the water has been drying it's starting to have a little bit of surface rust So pretty much uh, once this is fully de-rusted you want to coat it in something um, Like a WD-40 or some sort of oil just to prevent it from rusting just from being out in the air uh, Or give it a coat of primer or whatnot uh, So but for right now for a little bit of expense and a little bit of time. I think it's a great result one of the really important things about de-rusting an engine is not just for aesthetics, but actually for cooling. Uh, especially on these iron block engines, if they rust inside the coolant passageways through here, uh, it can make a uh, overheating issue that can't be solved with a bigger radiator or better water pump. Rust is a much better thermal insulator than just normal steel, something like 25 times more insulating. So if you have rust in the water jackets, your engine will essentially heat soak. Uh, so if you look inside here, uh, the CLR has eaten away all the rust inside the water passageways, which is really important uh, for having a nice cool running engine, especially if you're gonna be doing something like this where it's gonna be a big bore uh, with uh, aggressive cam and running some higher RPM. Uh, you really want to make sure it stays cold. So uh, although aesthetically it looks really nice to have it without rust, uh, the really important part is inside the engine, uh, which the CLR gets to. If you guys want to hear uh, some more tech tips, uh, specifically about cooling, uh, now that we we're talking about the water jackets, let us know in the comments. Uh, we really want to know what you want to see and uh, we can show you that. And if you like our videos, please like and subscribe. It really helps out our channel.